Uh, I've had yet more people in my life getting pregnant recently. Will it be a boy or a girl? Let's all go around and guess. I've mm-hmm. vented about this before. Will it be a boy or a girl? What happen- if that happens to you, what do you say? Uh, I mean, yeah, could go 50-50. 50-50? I don't care. I'm 100% correct on my guesses. Just saying. Okay, well, how many? Oh. Mm, five for five. Five for five. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I really think it is. Name them. Oh, man. How many boys, how many girls? Um... I think two, three girls, two boys. That that equals five. So yeah, okay, take that, that adds train. up. That yeah. adds up. Yeah, it took me a while. And it's you know, Derek. Fa- Google 50/50. that, Derek. <laughs> Fact check it. Derek, Derek, how you doing today? Good. I got a microphone. Yeah. Over here. Yes. Derek's got a microphone. Checks our math. <laughs> so Katie, you're saying you're five for five on like a friend gets pregnant and you're mm-hmm. like it's gonna be a girl. Yeah, I'm Nailed like it. I can yeah I can usually guess people. Uh, Again. Why are we using this talent more? I know that is actually yeah. If you, if you Katie, how's my weekend going just to be? Just send, just send it in. <laughs> just fill my DMs. I will send you back my guess. <laughs> I'm a pregnancy influencer. Do you base these guesses off of uh, what they call horoscopes? I base it off of a woman's intuition. Mm. Where is that on the body? Because I haven't fully learned everything. You'll learn, yeah, <laughs> one day you'll don't, figure it don't out. One day. Yeah. <laughs> don't show them. Don't show them. They're, the people make me guess, and I can't get fired up to guess. Well, yeah, let's just, guess. Yeah, let's guess more fun things that but, we really that we don't know at all, or we don't know the odds, or maybe we do know the odds. I think. Yeah, I would get way more excited if the the whole gender reveal conversation was not about genders at all. It was a intelligence reveal or a social aptitude reveal. Or, or all right, we're gonna pop a balloon if it's green. Uh, he's going to be in the gifted program. If it's blue, his best friend in high school is going to be the librarian. <laughs> that would get me fired up. Yeah, you, you you blow the streamers, and it's you know it's just multicolor, but count how many there are, and that's the IQ. <laughs> like eighty three. <Ooh. laughs> uh, yeah, if you could combine but, a gender reveal with like a scavenger hunt or an escape room or something, that would es- be fun. Oh wow! There we go. I feel like the escape room trend it's maybe losing steam but you throw a gin reveal collaboration in <laughs> yeah. there you throw a human life yes into it yeah that's very fun Ooh, okay so, so how does that work you you get out of the escape room so it's probably gonna be a girl you know a little smarter but if you don't it's gonna be a boy stuck in there um <laughs> yes yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the yeah. people who make the escape room also are forming the embryo inside of you and so they can kind of mix it up and change it based right. on your skills yeah i think if if it's just a, if you walk in the escape escape room and it's kind of straightforward makes sense it's going to be a guy <laughs> but if you walk in there and they're like you turn around and the clue that was supposed to lead you there now is just like crying <laughs> and for no reason then adds up you're in there you're stuck there until it stops and it's a woman. Yeah, you have to do an escape room and find out if it's a male escape room or a female escape yeah. room. You're like, all right, the first thing I opened said, you don't need to read this. But now, and then like fast forward 30 minutes, it says, remember the clue from the beginning? It's like, this has got to be a female escape room. Yeah, right. You told me I didn't need to the know male this. escape, you walk in, it's just like a a garage kind of, they threw an old couch in. And you're like, how do I get out of here? And the guy's like, I don't know. Try the door. Try the door. <laughs> Who are you? And then you just walk out. Katie, what would your male escape room have in it? What would the features be? Um, Probably football playing on a lot of TVs, very distracting. There's a lot of <laughs> things happening that you're really distracted by and you can't actually focus on one thing. That's why mm. you can't get out. Oh, <laughs> okay. <you> okay. <laughs> Maybe just multitasking. <laughs> um, so you guys leave a comment. Think it's going to be boy or girl or if it'll be smart or stupid. <laughs> um, it, will it be annoying? Will it be... You know, what percentile of weight will it be? Yeah, in? what's his BMI at? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That could be a real telltale for the parents, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. That's why this is more of a fun game, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, if we cut the cake and it's blue, you have a predisposition to type 1 diabetes. Kind of look at the parents. <laughs> yeah. Whose fault is this? Yeah. Maybe you should have done 23 and me. You both hold the gene. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you better enjoy these guys two feet while you can. Uh, that's way more fun. That is more fun. 